All right, so now that you all know how to set up a Google spreadsheet, uh, we're gonna run quickly through copying, pasting, cutting, inserting, deleting, doing stuff with cells and columns, rows, and then we'll get into cell formatting, views, different types of formatting, comments, uh, conditional formatting, and the like. So, to start with, we'll cover the cut function. So, the cut function is where you cut data from one cell and put it into another. So in this case, we're going to cut the data from J3 and paste it into K3. Now, there are much faster ways to do this. You can use keyboard shortcuts and the like. I'm just going to do this slowly so that everyone has an understanding of what exactly we're doing. So now, as you see, cutting removed the data that used to be here and allowed us to paste it here. So now if we wanted to copy that data, we make a copy of the data that's in here, select the cell we want to move the data to, and paste. And you can now see our data is in two different cells. So if I wanted to copy this and paste it into these 10 cells, I can do so. So what I did there is simply copy, select a multiple cell range, and then you can hit paste or command V on a Mac, control V on Windows. Cool, so that is copy, cop, copy, cut, and paste. <laughs> um, Sorry about that, trying to talk too fast. Now, really quickly, so another easy thing to do is if you wanted to insert a row, you simply need to right click and say insert a column one to the left. As you can see, we create a new column. Insert one to the right. We can delete columns. We can hide columns. So now you can see we've hidden it because there's a little arrow thing here. So now if you click on one of these arrows, Boom, the column is back. Uh, we can do other things like conditional validation. We'll, we'll, we'll get into this later. But you can make any kind of changes that you want on a column, cell, or row level. So you can do the same thing over here. So let's say we wanted to insert a row above this one. That's as easy as it is to do that. Simply right click, select insert one above. Now I'm going to delete this row. Um, and again, just like columns, you can hide. You can clear, you can resize rows. So I can make this row 50 pixels, and it's a lot wider. Taller, I guess. <laughs> and then another way to easily resize is just use the arrow keys to drag, drag and make it whatever size you want. So that is that. Uh, and then in terms of hiding, again, you can do that. You can clear the contents of specific cells. Uh, so you can do all of this stuff on a cell level as well. So you can insert comments, notes. Um, one thing we can cover that we'll get to later is paste special. Uh, but at a high level, this is how you manipulate a lot of data within Excel. So now let's say we want to change the color of some of our columns. So all of these tools up here, I will walk through quickly. So this is the undo button. So let's say we uh, let's say we accidentally deleted some data here. We can go over here, click undo. The data comes right back. Now, if we wanted to redelete that, hit redo, comes right back. Format Painter is another interesting thing, where let's say we wanted to write something in 24 font. Hi, course takers. So. Let's say we wanted the font, the uh, format of this cell to match this cell. We can hit for paint format, select what cell we want to apply the format to, and it automatically applies that. So if this cell was size 18 font green and had a border, we could copy this, hit paint format, and select some cells that we wanted to have the same format as this over here. And voila, they do. They all have green, larger font, borders, and the like. This can be really helpful when it comes to uh, formatting a large amount of data all at one time. And then if you want to clear formatting, just go to Format, Clear Formatting, we're back to normal. So the other things here are, this is the these are the decimal uh, not sorry, not decimal, cell format functions. And so what they show is you can basically choose how you want the data in these columns to be displayed. So let's say we wanted this to be $8. So we can format that as a currency. 
We can format that as a percent. We can format this as a normal number. We can do really specific things like scientific formatting, date formatting, uh, time formatting, you know, whatever we want to do, duration, number, all of these things. I like to keep it at automatic. Usually Google is pretty good with this. You can also add or remove decimal points. Oops, didn't mean to format as percent. So if we wanted to add decimal points, we can simply go here. It says increase decimal places or decrease them for a better count of, you know, so you could better see uh, how many decimal places your data has. So this can be really useful if you're doing financial calculations, accounting, anything with multiple decimal places where you may have a bunch of numbers like eight, let's do nine point blah. So because we have only one decimal place showing, it's going to round up, round down to nine. Now, as we show more decimal places, it changes the rounding and it shows how many numbers are actually behind the decimal. So very, very cool. Over here, we can choose different fonts. You can do select all. So that is command A to select all the data. And let's make all of our data Verdana. I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, or Arial. Do Arial. Yeah. So, you know, you can change the font size here. You can do bold, italic, strike through, all of these different formatting things that are very standard in Excel. Um, you can do the same thing. So, here is the fill color. This will change the color of the cell that the data is in. Um, you can change the actual color of the text. So that's using this little A thing. Um, you can add borders. You can see visually what borders you're adding here. Um, you can change the side of the column that the data aligns on. So this is the middle, this is the right align, this is the left align. Uh, you can change how the data fits in the middle, if it's in the bottom, you know, whatever you want to do. So this one is a little hard to see, but you can see it better if it's a larger chunk of data. So now you can see the data is kind of, the sentence is hanging out at the bottom of the cell. If you want it, we can move it to the top and so forth. Uh, we can also hit this little button, which means wrap text, which will fit all of the text that we have inside of our cell handily. Once we have that, we can insert a link. So udemy.com. So what that means is once we click that link, now we are on the Udemy homepage, assuming it loads. My internet appears to be slow. You'll just have to trust me. Uh, there we go. Dun, dun, dun. And you to me. Uh, and then we can also do things like insert comments. This isn't a sentence. Insert charts, filter data, and insert functions, which we'll get to later. So the other useful thing to point out here is by hitting this comments tab, you can see all of the content, the comments that exist in this document. So that is quickly I'm going to clear this, resize this, and then we'll move on past formatting. So this is how you, these are the basics of doing formatting in Google Spreadsheets. Uh, very, very similar to Excel. So if you have any experience there, all of this should look familiar. Now we're going to start moving into more advanced stuff. So see you on the other side.